Hi gang and welcome to another episode of Mr. Ed Draws and in this episode I'll be doing a collage for the Art Addicts Alliance prompt Halloween collage. We decided this time we would give our audience a break from the awesome responsibility of deciding our theme and just go with the Halloween collage. So I have pictures on my computer of some art that I've done. I just kind of keep them around and uh, like a portfolio or whatever. So I pulled some of those out and decided I would do a digital collage with them and I'm using wire sculptures that I made that look kind of like skeletons and wire trees that are all like fall and creepy and I have these wonderful textural pieces that I'm using so um, I just basically go to town cutting these out digitally and assembling them so when I started my idea for this I had kind of like a rough idea a rough plan in my mind but I didn't want to sketch it out and plan it rigidly because I kind of wanted to let my muse flow through the process. I wanted to use as much of intuitive creativity as I can because if I go too rigid and stick with the plan, sometimes I overlook opportunities of creativity that I think may have uh, produced a better result. So I kind of like to be open to that when I work. So I don't stick to a rigid plan, but I did have an idea of what I wanted. So. I think I accomplished that idea, but it, it took a little bit of moving things around and testing stuff, which I love about working digitally because it is a lot faster and it's a lot easier and you have a lot more tools to take things up. So when I was doing this piece, I was looking up candy corn color because I couldn't remember what order they come in. I knew that it was yellow, white, and orange, but I couldn't remember what order. So when I was looking it up, I found out, which I may have already known, that candy corn is the most popular Halloween candy. I don't think it's the favorite Halloween candy. I just think it's the most popular, right? You know, like uh, popcorn balls are really popular. Well, at least they were when I was a kid. But I don't think they were the favorite. I mean, we would throw them at one another. We wouldn't eat, we wouldn't eat them. You know, it was just like a, a cruel game that we would play. What's your favorite Halloween candy? Mine's the peanut butter kisses with the little peanut butter stuff inside. That's the taffy. Those are my favorite. Do you like candy corn? Does anyone like candy corn? Let me know in the comments. And also, here's a fun fact about candy corn. You can take candy corn and a tube of salted peanuts, toss those back together mixed up, and it tastes just like a payday. Give it a try. If you do, let me know in the comments. Uh, so I'm moving all these pieces around. I'm kind of getting this um, where these souls, I guess, the group of souls there are kind of looking up at the moon or I kind of want them looking at something and I thought maybe it was the moon because it kind of has this evil face from the trees and then you got this hangman ghost hanging over here that's just doing something for some reason and it, it I just felt like it didn't it didn't work so kind of I'm going to flip things around here and see if that works any better and I feel like it does kind of take the attention to the most prominent subject which is this tree that's just like bow the style of it, it sticks out so heavy it almost connects itself to that moon so the tree and the moon are just like so connected they almost seem like one thing and I didn't like that so I'm throwing that back in my mind and I also wanted more tree textures in the background and I wanted to get rid of some of this negative space but I didn't want to get rid of it prominently I just kind of wanted to fill it with a little bit of something and when I did I noticed that the tree and the ghost sculpture there kind of matched a little bit so I worked with it and it was starting to come to me and got that mean looking face up there so I, I think at this point it's starting to come along and I'm feeling really good about it and since I made the tree for the negative space so prominent now I had to fill the negative space again so I chose a dry erase picture that I did of uh, a haunted mansion and I thought it had this kind of mausoleum kind of geometry and quality to it and I, I dodged it so I I could get it to pick up the colors of that that moon and carry it throughout the piece so I can get the palette to kind of flow through and things were kind of blocking out weird and blending in strangely so I kind of had to trim trim out some of that excess so that the group of skeleton ghosts would stand out more and then changed the color so it could pick up some of that and it, it w would flow a little bit better. I probably should have done it to the tree and the other ghost but I hue shifted the whole thing and I think it picked up the color nicely. So here you go. I hope you enjoy it. I really enjoyed this exercise. 
um, check out the other artists uh, their stuff is amazing they're uploading now as we speak so over the next few days you'll be able to enjoy their work also I want to say um, a farewell to Sima is drawing I welcome her back to the group anytime but for now she's uh, going on to bigger and better things and uh, welcome to draw art lab who is joining the group so check her stuff out too she's done work for us before as a guest artist and now she's a permanent artist so uh, check her out thanks for watching as always like comment subscribe and until next time take care